everyone, Shane Anderson here from Orla Page Atlantic and the Pike Group. I wanted to share a recent conversation I had with some clients of mine uh, who were looking to sell their home within the next year to two years. Uh, their home is coming in the 20 year mark uh, in terms of age. Uh, so when they come to sell, it's going to be over 20 years old. So their concern was, should we do some modifications, uh, uh, upgrades, repairs and renovations? Um, being over 20 years old, of course, the roof is, is uh, could be an issue, um, siding, um, oil tank, water, water heaters, a deck in the back, all those kind of things. Uh, but they were also looking to do some possible renovations to the home uh, through kitchen, uh, bedrooms, uh, basement, and maybe even a bathroom or two. So their concern was, should they reinvest all this money in, in their home and before it comes to market and sell it? Will they get the return of investment? And now this is a difficult question to answer, um, and one that takes a lot of research uh, and, and knowledge uh, with the area and the market that they're currently in. Um, initially, when it comes to the repairs and maintenance of your home, I say yes, uh, 100%. I would I would go ahead and fix your roof, fix, uh, if, especially if there's a leak. Um, you know, upgrade your siding, um, maybe some landscaping if your driveway needs needs to be done. Uh, and maybe even the deck in the back. Replacing, re replacing the oil tanks, very inexpensive. Uh, furnace can get a little more expensive, but it's, if it needs to be done, it's something that should be, should be looked at. All these things uh, are issues or can become issues when you try to go and sell your home. If you haven't done these, when a potential buyer comes in to look at your home, um, whether it be through general knowledge, buyers these days are, are very, very knowledgeable and do a lot of research before they go out and look at homes, uh, or through the inspection when these issues become uh, apparent through a home inspection. Um, so they're going to take with their calculator, say you've got your home listed at $350,000 and, and uh, they're coming through and okay, deduct uh, needs a new roof, needs new windows, needs new flooring here in the kitchen uh, and so forth and so forth. So this is going to be coming off the purchase price of your home. So you're going to be behind the eight ball. You're going to be at a disadvantage when dealing with these buyers and it's going to reflect in their initial offer. So by addressing these issues before they become issues, is, is definitely the way to go, I feel, uh, and puts you at a more advantage and putting your best foot forward when it's, when it's time to list your home. Um, so let's go into the renovation uh, aspect of it. Uh, before we do that, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about the market. Now today's market is, is uh, most people know, it's firmly in a buyer's market. Uh, over 13 months of inventory right now, over 5,400 homes for sale in HRM. Uh, compared to 2012, uh, where it was like a six-month inventory, so it was more of a seller's, a neutral to a seller's buy, uh, uh, market. Um, so things are going to be answered a little differently if that was the market today. Uh, very important that when you do renovations to your home, that you know the market in your specific area. Every area has its own uh, market. There's pluses and minuses to each one of those areas. So having a trusted real estate agent uh, that you can consult with that can do a very detailed comparative market analysis of your specific area is very, very important. Here's why. Um, let's say your home is already the best home on your street within a kilometer or two kilometers or whatever, uh, and you do some renovations to your home, you add another thirty or $40,000 of renovations to your home, and you're going to reflect that more than likely in the price, uh, the listing price of your home. So what essence you will do is price yourself out of the market and, and uh, you're going to help your neighbor sell his his home because those buyers are going to skip your home they can't afford it depending on that that area that that uh, that you're selling in that specific buyer is going to gravitate more towards the, the deal the house that's down the road that's for sale for twenty thirty thousand dollars less that they can go ahead and do the renovations to themselves and a lot of buyers will look at a home that way um, yes it may need some upgrades in terms of cosmetic uh, but we don't mind doing that because we can put our own personal touches on that home so it's very important that you be very careful. Uh, I do recommend doing renovations, doing modifications to your home, but I, I would more lean towards like the painting and the, and the resurfacing of, of certain things like flooring and stuff. When you get into ripping out walls and redoing the entire kitchen, uh, remodeling the bathroom in greater great detail, you know, increasing square footage of certain bedrooms and whatever, uh, losing bedrooms or, or, or adding walls, doing things like that is very specific and it can kind of really narrow uh, your, your, your search or your pool for potential buyers. Uh, they may not like what you've done. They may not like what you've the type of flooring that you've chosen for the kitchen or the bathroom or, or the living room or, or whatever. So you, in essence, your attempt to, to make things better have actually uh, uh, worked against you and made things uh, more difficult for you to sell your home. 
So to reiterate the fact of the importance of, of having a trusted real estate agent that, can, that knows the market that you're trying to sell in, uh, that can do updated market analysis, um, uh, comparative market analysis in great detail, uh, that way you're priced accordingly and, uh, and you're more apt to get uh, your, your return of investment back and reflect in the, in the best price. Um, uh, doing the renovate, doing the modifications and the repairs are going to are going to make your home more appealing and and uh, more sellable uh, in the market. Uh, those things I, I highly recommend, and just basically the upkeep and the maintenance of the current uh, condition of your home is really really important. So when you get to that 20 year mark and you need a new furnace or you need some new flooring, you know, look at either re replacing that flooring or repairing it and resurfacing it. Uh, painting those little things go a long, long way, and uh, there's a, a greater return of investment uh, with those uh, those modifications and upgrades. So hopefully, I answered the question. Uh, it, there's a lot more to it than that. Is there's a, a great detail and a lot of work that goes into uh, not only marketing your house for that certain type of area that that, that you're looking to sell, uh, but getting your home ready uh, for the market is uh, is and, and pricing it accordingly is really, really crucial, really crucial in making sure that you have that right uh, personnel on hand to work hard for you in selling your home at a reasonable time. You don't want it to sit on the market for, for months and months and months. You want your home to sell within within a, a very short period of time uh, and get the, the, the greatest uh, return of your investment. The thing sure. I wanted to touch on is, is if you do these modifications and these upgrades is to make sure that you hire a professional uh, to do them for you. Uh, a lot of the times I'll go through homes and it's very apparent that the modifications and upgrades were done by a uh, weekend uh, warrior, so to speak, or a do-it-yourselfer uh, that has done the painting and, and the upgrades. Uh, so in his attempt or their attempt to make things better, again, uh, by doing it the wrong way, has actually uh, hurt them and it hurt the saleability of their home. So. Hopefully you learned something from today's video. If you have any questions in regards to this or anything else, and if you are looking to sell your home, or if you're looking to purchase a new home, maybe your first time home buyer, uh, don't hesitate and give the Pike Group a call. Uh, we would love to speak with you and love to help you out in any way that we can. Uh, my number is 902-471-9600. My email is shane at shaneshomes.ca. So thanks for watching today. Hopefully you learned something from today's video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.